Hello, my name is Greta Mans. I've been um, working, volunteering with Options um, since 2020. I started the training in January 2020 and uh, then because of Covid we had to have a little break um, initially when you know we were all trying to work out what was what was going on really um, and then eventually we carried on with the course um, online and then um, at some point that was able to progress to being back to face-to-face -face training which was really good um, the course was excellent actually and it really sort of prepared you well prepared me well on how to carry on with with the with the counseling once we were ready to be let loose really um, so um, the prior experience or skills that I had before starting with options um, was that I trained as a nurse in Holland um, in 1985 and then um, after I qualified at some point I moved to England and I did midwifery training here in England and worked as a first as a hospital midwife for a number of years and then later as a community midwife for a number of years. Now within midwifery um, there are many happy times and it was a lovely job um, but as we all know there are also many sad times and very sad experiences um, for couples or women um, and you know, as a midwife, you're only with them for a short period of time. And then at some point, unfortunately, you're going to have to sort of advise them as best you can and then move on. Um, and thankfully, there were organisations available that you would be able to pinpoint them to. Um, but at the time, I never knew of anything like options um, where you could direct them to with regards to counselling for pregnancy loss or other difficulties they may have encountered. Um, so... <clears throat> that was kind of my background. As it happens, I've also had um, a pregnancy loss myself quite a number of years ago now um, with very little follow-up uh, or counselling or anything like that. Nothing was being offered um, and that was something I struggled with for a long time. And thankfully, actually, as a result of doing the options counselling, I was able to work through my own um, grief and heartache that I still had as a result of um, my own situation all that time ago. Um, so yeah, I think that very much encouraged me once I found out about options to help to try and become involved with that. Um, so that's kind of the first two questions with regards to skills and background, but also my motives for options answered there. Um, the thing I enjoy most about working with options for starters is that it's free and that it's available for everybody who finds themselves either in a time of need when it comes to unplanned pregnancy um, unexpected pregnancy or difficulties um, they encounter in early pregnancy um, and that it's a, a, a good free space for um, women or couples or men to come to and in confidence can share um, their difficulties. Um, and, and, you know, it's great, I think, that Options is there to be able to provide that service where we can help them to decide for what's going on in their head and what is important to them how they would be able to potentially m move forward either with or without the pregnancy um, and help them to yeah just clarify what's going on in their own minds um, it is it is you know it can be such a frightening daunting scary time um, and I just think it's really brilliant that options is available and and there um, to, to be able to yeah, give unconditional loving care and be non-judgmental and uh, provide a, a space and a time where people, women mainly, but also men can speak freely and be heard and um, yeah, just be offered um, help or guidance if needed on how to find their way forward. 
Um, so I, I, it's, it's a sad time for those involved, but for me personally, it's also great to be able to be there and stand alongside them and offer support and help. Um, I've worked with a number of longer term clients also, and um, when, especially when they first arrive and they're still so struggling with their grief and, and the difficulties and the trauma that can remain as of pregnancy loss or pregnancy complications or um, situations like that. Um, and they can't see a way forward. And once you take them sort of through the program, you know, it's amazing how you can see a transformation. And, you know, some people, for them, it's easier than for others or, or um, they come through it in a better way than others. But nearly always do you do see how people are able to move forward and to find peace with themselves and peace with what's happened. Um, and again, I just think it's a really great um, service um, as a Christian person and within our local community to be able to offer to those who are in need. Um, the Bible tells us clearly that we, you know, Jesus was full of love and care and showed compassion to um, those around him and especially those in need and those who were um, struggling, you know, those who were left behind um, and maybe those who were by themselves, the lost. And um, we, you know, we as options very much want to stand alongside anyone who finds themselves in difficult times and um, want to be able to support and love and care for them like Jesus did. Um, and like Jesus encourages us to do now. Um, so I think to be involved with options, um, it's double-sided because I've seen and I've worked with women in the past from a professional perspective who've, who've dealt with these difficulties. And um, I think it's really great now to be able to, to help with those who have struggled and are continuing to struggle. So I think Options is a, a great centre and um, yeah, it's just, it's really good to be involved with that and to be able to offer guidance, service, help, care, love to those who need it.